This is Charlie giving you Monday's market commentary. I hope you're very well. I say commentary. I've got to go into a, um, a situation here. Um, I've been speaking to a, um, a female trader this morning who has got herself into a bit of a situation, and that's with this pound dollar. So this pound dollar's had this tremendous run down, obviously um, overnight. Well, obviously the weekend with the the Scottish Independent vote, um, the yes votes um, edging ahead. Um, it's created this these two bars here. I mean, Tele charts um, include um, Sunday night as a bar and then Monday, so this is all basically one bar. Um, but anyway, um, she'd spotted that uh, the pound was in this trend channel last week, and she thought that the pound was um, due a bounce, and so it had to go up, right? <laughs> and so, and the thing is with technical analysis is that you you look at um, markets, and of course there are probabilities and odds, but nothing is ever certain or 100%. So anyway, so she bought it and was convinced it was going to go up, and it came down. Now, what did she do? She didn't use a stop loss, because she thought, well, I'll give it a little bit of slack, and she'll move her stop up, or she'll put a stop in place, that was it, once price started going up. <laughs> so um, she didn't put a stop loss in place, and then it came down on, um, was this, uh, when was this it came down? Was this late? Oh no, this is, let's take it back actually. Where are we? Oh, this was Thursday. Sorry, yeah. So this was Thursday. It came down. Then, sorry, Friday. It didn't. Cable didn't do too much. So she added to her position down here on on Thursday, wherever it was. I can't remember now. Mid 163s. Still didn't put a stop loss in place. Um, thought, oh well, she would. It would probably bounce over the week or you know into the early part of this week, and then she would put a stop in place because she thought, okay, well, that's, that's okay. I've got to add to my position at a better price. And then what's happened? The market has has well, it's gap down. It tele charts don't show the gaps, but um, on the news uh, over the week from the weekend, it's gap down overnight. So as we can see now, it's another 200 pips lower than even uh, where her add-in was. So she's obviously, um, as you can imagine, a little bit emotional, and so wanted some advice. And so, I mean, obviously, the advice that I would give is it's a bit too late once you're already into that position. And so, um, but. The thing, the main thing is, just doesn't matter how confident you are in a market moving in one direction or another. You must always use a stop loss, and you must always ascertain your the, obviously your risk. And, and, I, and I appreciate probably ninety odd percent of you of um, all do do that. But I also appreciate that probably ninety odd percent of you at some point have probably made a mistake, something like this. Maybe not quite as catastrophic, so to speak, as this, but but certainly made a mistake where you've miscalculated or you've added to your position and then you've got yourself over leveraged and done things like that. So um, I thought it was a good good warning actually, um, because um, traders can go along and trade well for for a period, get a bit overconfident, and then just think, oh, this is going to be fine. I'm just going to leave. A, I'm not going to put a stop loss in. I'm going to just trade this and then all of a sudden um, um, yeah it comes down a bit add a bit more to it and then she comes down now obviously she's st <laughs> well we'll see if she's still in the position but um, she should be out now but um, of course the pound could could um, want to put in a, a big bounce you know it's come down to its uh, monthly 21 now I think yep um, monthly 21 down there and so it could want to put in a big bounce but it, it just as easy it could not want to and so the risk again is that um, this maybe carries on coming down to 160. So you, you can't you can't just say oh because it's come down that bit more now it's bound to go up now well not necessarily. So the obviously the vote isn't till what for another 10 days yet. So we just don't know what's going to happen to the pound in the meantime. So just a little warning there. I think everyone can probably. Um, um, relate to this in one way or another um, certainly from an emotional perspective um, she'll be okay because she's not wiped her her account but she's obviously um, taken a bit of a hit on her account there and it's a good lesson um, so I thought I'd share that with you this morning she was happy for me to share that uh, because um, she's learned a lesson from that as well <laughs> never the market nothing is guaranteed right okay um so anyway so whilst we're on the pound yes i mean it's come out of this trend channel i was looking at this thinking oh it's such a lovely trend channel and um but we've come out in it that's out of it at some point the market will want to come back to this trend channel and at some point it'll probably want to break the other side of it but for now obviously it's not and so um so for now the pound is um obviously extremely weak maybe it's oversold but um, doesn't mean to say it can't get more oversold. So um, why bother um, trying to catch the falling knife, so to speak, on that one? And then, um, as I've covered that 
quite a bit of time there. Let's have a look at look at the stock market indices. Again, they held up again last on Friday. And sort of still sitting around at the moment on the futures today. We're consolidating sideways after an up run. We have to assume, until proven otherwise, that the market will want to go higher again yet and break out. So that's what we have to assume on that. So we'll 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 see. And if it doesn't and it reverses, then then fine. Um, but um, but for now, you go with where um, the odds the odds are. Now the thing with the Dow, it's effectively a double top. If we have a look at the S and P, um, it's beyond that. So. Um, the odds still favour currently. The fact that it's consolidating here, maybe we're going to get another breakout here. Um, other than that, I don't want to go on to too much um, this week. We, we'll come back on Friday and do some live trading again. Um, anything else to report? There's so much going on at the moment, but um, we'll do some updates um, on all of that uh, another time. So I'll leave that lesson with you today rather than spending too much time on looking at the markets. Um, I, I'm not overly interested in in many of these markets at the moment so uh, we'll leave it at that I'll uh, oh uh, could have a quick look at Aussie dollar yeah Aussie dollars um, come back down a little bit here today I'm keeping my eye on the Aussie dollar I think ultimately we're still going to want to come down for the low 92s so there you go that's the one one market that I'm keeping my eye on but it's got to roll down further it's got to probably get back below 93 to, before it gives a confirmation of that right I shall leave that with you have a good week speak to you on Friday